Director Melissa Crowhurst leads the MacArthur Middle School Honors Choir during Fort Meade's annual Black History Month observation. We'll have more on this week's observance in a moment. Also this week there's a technical job fair coming up. The Fort Meade Patriots regular season is winding down. And if you're interested in working from home, MWR may be able to help. But first, Military Saves Week is February 27th through March 4th. The annual event is an opportunity for military installations to promote good savings behavior and a chance for service members to assess their own saving status. Army Community Service is organizing a week's worth of special events for Military Saves Week. We're doing a variety of classes based on what our customers say that they're interested in the most. Uh, so we have classes on home buying, car buying, getting out of debt. And we also have a couple classes where we've actually reserved the theater, hoping for a large turnout for the blended retirement system and thrift savings plan. As you can see from the flyer, there's an emphasis on the thrift savings plan and the new blended military retirement system. Basically, the instructor is going to give an overview of what the blended retirement system changes are, because uh, this is this is a big monumental change to the legacy way of doing the retirement. Um, you know, top three, 50% is going to change completely. But it's going to result in a lot of folks um, coming into the military will actually leave um, if they leave earlier than 20 years with a type of retirement plan like a 401k on the civilian side. So um, some, some big major changes there. For those that might be unfamiliar with the blended retirement system, here's a brief video from Installation Management Command. In a related story, MWR is hosting a technical job fair on Wednesday, March 22nd at Club Mead. Event organizers are planning for about 65 employers to be in attendance. Anyone with a security clearance is strongly encouraged to attend. Bring plenty of resumes, and if you need help with yours, the resume doctor will be on hand. You can see a full list of employers at www.mead.armymwr.com. Just click on Job Fair. In other news, the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the Defense Information Systems Agency hosted this year's Black History Month observance. Guest speaker Dr. Toya Corbett, the Dean of Students at North Carolina Central University, focused on the continuing crisis in black education. She began with some historical background. When I learned the history of slavery in Maryland, that if you made it to from the eastern shore of Maryland to Baltimore, you could be free. So that's why you have such a concentrated number of African Americans living in the city now. In the early 1800s, the most free African Americans were living again in Baltimore, but they were not educated. The education again of slaves was illegal in Maryland, and though there was a large population of African Americans, there were few opportunities for blacks to become educated. As for today, Ms. Corbett says the crisis continues. Here on the home front, teachers in one school in Baltimore yesterday did not show up for work due to the $130 million school budget deficit within the Baltimore school system. What's important to remember is that our children, like the ones we have here, are the ones who are suffering. If the government can find money to build jails and prisons, it can surely find money to build more schools. One more reminder from MWR, family child care providers are needed. If you're interested in working from home, you can become a certified child care provider. You'll receive training on meal planning, activity organization, child development, and of course, CPR and first aid. Contact the Family Child Care Office at 301-677-1160. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.